Um, I mean, I was literally just talking to Rihanna about this. Um, we were sort of saying like, well, because for me, it was uh, dad was diagnosed the year either before or after I was born, and for Rihanna, she was gonna like gonna be two or four. So we're very similar with Ewan that like it's one of those things that we've dealt with since birth, like for our whole lives. So I think with us again, it was like the constant hospital trips and stuff like that so the only trips we really ever had was to a hospital or to school stuff like that so with carers doing stuff outside of those things like really gives you a break and it's with people that understand Mm. what you're also going through so it's like that element of being able to relate and talk about it without people thinking oh this person's like different or outside or a bit weird or whatever like you, you could just talk to people who were like, oh, yeah, no, I know exactly what you're talking about. And it's finally sort of finding your tribe, which I think, like, I joined when I was, like, uh, 10 or 11. So at that age, it's you're going into secondary school. It's so important to find people that you can relate to and talk to and not have that element of judgment. So that was also really, really important for us. That's what we were saying was the most important thing that we found through carers that we really enjoyed. That's somewhere that you feel instantly accepted regardless of what's going on in your life you've got that sort of silent understanding that you've all got something going on at home nobody needs to know what's happening but you just all know you're there for a reason because you know there's things going on at home that you're having to contribute your your time and efforts to help the family work really I suppose yeah and with sort of the fact of like like that background understanding like if you suddenly had it well like if dad went into hospital one day you don't if you went to like one of your friends from school or something and said oh dad's going to hospital you're like oh my gosh why and you have to explain the whole thing to them whereas with carers they already know that there's something going on like you say and then you can just go oh he's in hospital and they're like okay let's focus on that one section of the story of what you're trying to sort of get across and it's that's the same as like with the adults that were there and the kids that were there as well like either way it's it's that understanding of you don't have to tell your whole life story every time you've got like a small issue going on yeah, I always used to describe it, or I have done many times, is this sort of invisible thread that just binds everybody together. Um, you know, you don't have to explain to each other why you're there or what you're doing, as you've just said. So, yeah, it's like this bond that's just invisible, but it's there all the time. 